Well, this was a little bit unexpected. So, obviously, with Gamescom going on, there's been some news coming out, and not a lot of prevalent things for Nintendo, per se. Uh, just a lot of little mini announcements, some indie games. And I might even start a video series soon, uh, once per week, where I talk about uh, new games announced for the Nintendo Switch this week. Uh it's just something that I've been I've been thinking about, and it would also give me a chance to showcase some indie titles, since most weeks, indie games are what are announced, uh, and we obviously don't get copyright strikes for, throwing, for showing off indie games. But <laughs> Tabata, one of the main people behind Final Fantasy XV, uh, did a Twitch live stream and announced Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition, which doesn't look anything like Final Fantasy XV at all. Uh, maybe it has the same story, maybe some of the same monsters and people. I, I don't know, but it's it's a version of Final Fantasy XV for mobile phones. And once that was all done, um, they were asked if they have any other announcements for Final Fantasy XV. And this is what they followed up with. I mean, uh, and you answer the question, uh, what <laughs> other things have we got planned in the future? Um, we can't give you any complete, solid details right at the moment, but uh, for our policy-wise, we very much do want to move out and uh, do as much as we can with the, with the game, with the franchise. So uh, there's another certain console out there people may be thinking of. Uh, sounds a little bit like you guys, your name, Twitch. Uh, I think we'll just leave it there. Twitch, I mean, there, there, was, there was a console which sounded a bit like Twitch. Twitch,みたいな名前のゲームハード大好きなので、まあそういうところもちゃんと今考えてるところです。I mean, yeah, everyone on the Final Fantasy 15, they love this specific console that sounds a lot like Twitch, so uh, <laughs> you may want to think maybe about something about that in the future. Yeah, they have a version of the game coming to a console that sounds like Twitch. Obviously, they're talking about the Nintendo Switch. It's a pseudo confirmation that Final Fantasy 15 is coming to Nintendo Switch at some point. I don't know if it's coming this year. I don't know if it's coming next year. But it would mark the f like the first time. When, well, when was the last mainline Final Fantasy game even on a Nintendo platform? I mean, e even on a Nintendo home console. I mean, they had Crystal Chronicles back on the GameCube, but I mean, it was it really as far back as the Super Nintendo days, like 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 Final Fantasy three or Final Fantasy four, five, six. Oh man, this is a long time ago, and here we are at Final Fantasy fifteen, and it sounds like it's definitely coming to Switch again. I know it's a late port of a previously released video game, and I understand the frustration some Switch owners might have with the treatment of late ports, but. You need to get, I'd rather get the latest Final Fantasy because that gives me hope for Final Fantasy 16 or any other Final Fantasy entities they release in the future. It's kind of like Skyrim coming out. If it does well, it gives hope for future Bethesda games to come to Nintendo platforms. And, you know, the same would be true for Rockstar. Let's say Rockstar released Grand Theft Auto 5 at some point. If it does well, that gives hope for future Rockstar games. So that's kind of what I view this as is... I'd rather have Final Fantasy 15 on the Switch than not. And late port or not, it, it doesn't change the fact that Final Fantasy 15 is a pretty decent game. I have only played a very little bit of it, but I liked what I played. It's probably the first Final Fantasy since Final Fantasy 12 that I actually liked. And yes, I know a lot of people don't like Final Fantasy 12, and I'm in some weird stratosphere in terms of my love for Final Fantasy 12. But uh, yeah, I am happy that Final Fantasy 15 appears to be coming to Switch. And I'm hoping that it does well, does well enough for them to continue to support the, the system in the future. I mean, we're talking about Square Enix. They have a lot of IPs and properties. I would love to see them start bringing all their best games to Switch. And again, this is just another feather in the Switch's hat that they are really starting to get the attention of third parties, uh, especially in Japan. And hopefully they start to get more attention out West and EA and Bethesda and Rockstar and all the other various third party Western studios start to see... A market for their games on switch because i truly think the market is there i really do anyways that's about all i have to say on this subject i know this is kind of a short video but uh until final fantasy 15 is in my hands i don't really have much more to say or until we know there's a release date or something or other either way i found this a as a really interesting way to announce it. it's almost as if tabata wasn't supposed to announce the game but he did anyways because he just wanted to. Maybe Nintendo wanted to announce it in their own unique Nintendo way through Nintendo Direct. 
I I don't know. Uh, I assume I'm assuming that Final Fantasy 15 is going to be the full version of the game, not the the pocket edition, because there's no reason that the Switch has to get the pocket edition. It could support the full version. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And hey, folks, I'll catch you in the next one.